everybody and welcome. I'm Marcy Besker and I am an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up from Clovis, California. Welcome everyone. I'm super excited to have you here today. And look, I beat my volume. I have my commercials up though. So let's get rid of that. Hi everybody. Uh, Marsha and Jody, Deborah, Laura, Connie, Debbie. Thank you, Laura. Patty, Elaine. Gloria, Deborah, Stephanie, hello, Deborah, and Jazz. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Um, people are going to be coming on. Just say hi. I really appreciate it. Let me make sure I am on live chat, not top chat. I like to see the comments as they're coming in. Um, a lot of times, top chat are just the people that are chatting, but I like to see everybody. So, hi, Ellie. How are you? So today I have a really fun project. Of course, I have to do a little bit of housekeeping first, but you won't want to miss this. Um, this is something I had thought about, but I saw somebody else do. And um, so I tried to work it out and do it. And then I went and saw the video. So I'll explain all that in a minute because um, I saw it on Instagram. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to try that. And I didn't think to look up the video thinking there was one. Of course, there's going to be one. So I'll explain that in a minute. So I kind of played with it and then I got some other ideas from the video. So I'm going to explain um, how exciting this is. I was super excited about this card. Then I created the card with a, a stamp set and then I was like, oh, I think that's retired. Don't ask me why I thought that because it's not. So I created another one. And then last night I was talking to my husband is it low on my end? Can everybody hear me okay? Let me turn it up. It says mine's full blast. So hopefully it is okay on everybody else's end. I hope you can hear me okay. So what happened was, um, I don't know why. My husband and I call it COVID brain because, you know, we just got off COVID. And we've been doing weird things and all of a sudden we're like, oh, I... I knew that stamp set was current. I don't know why I thought it wasn't, so I recreated another one. Um, okay, so is the volume okay with everybody else, or is it just Laura? Just double checking. Volume is fine. Okay, great. Yay! Sorry, Laura. Maybe go back out and come back in, um, and maybe that'll help. Okay, so anyway, um, I also finished Bingo. So if you want to see sneak peeks, go to my Facebook page, which is Barcy Bessaker Designs. And take a look over there. I listed the products that I used. Remember, you're going to get the embellishments, the ribbon, the designer series paper, all the die cuts, everything that you need, unless it's something that's stamped. I cannot give you a stamped item where I'm um, heat embossing one item, which you don't have to, um, but that's going to be a sentiment. And uh, so I gave some sneak peeks over there. So if you are interested in uh, joining bingo it's October bingo and it's going to be on the 12th which is a Wednesday at five o'clock so um, it usually goes quite a while now some people join even if they can't make it to the bingo because you're only paying $35 you're going to get four card kits a video showing you exactly how we create them and you can create them along with the video and so it's kind of like a class but we get bingo too. So, um, and then some people want to do the bingo. And honestly, some people say, oh, I don't need the kits. I've got the video. I've got the product. Don't worry about it. So either way, it's only $35 and it's a lot of fun. We have a great time. Um, October is going to be um, my birthday month. So um, I'm going to do some extra giveaways and some, some fun things. So make sure you are um, signed up for bingo. Um, to sign up, there's a link below. Just click on it. You're going to fill out a registration form and then you're also going to pay down below that. So don't just submit and go away. Scroll down and pay. I do not invoice you. It's all attached right there. It's all through my blog and it is through PayPal. If you don't have PayPal, you can still pay with your credit card through PayPal. Okay, so you don't have to have it. Yeah, Deborah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited about it. I should have refilled my tea, but I didn't. Today I was working on Christmas gifts for my customers. It was, you should have seen my desk. You see all that gold over there? That's gold glimmer paper. 
So that means you're going to be seeing some um, evening evergreen uh, glimmer paper coming your way during some bingos maybe in the future because I'm going to have a lot of it. Hello, Crystal. Hi, Laura, Deborah, Susan. Hello. Okay, so um, let's just get busy. We have a lot to go over. And you guys know my host code. Um, I've got a lot of different things up. They're going to be on my blog post. Speaking of blog post, I know it's a little overwhelming. I only post two times a week and I haven't, I didn't post my last card yet, my bird. Um, what I think I'm going to start doing is posting once a week with both projects. Um, if there is an announcement like the sale we had the other day or something like that, I may just blast out one quick post about a special that's coming or something. But number one, I think it's going to help me a little bit on saving my time. I try to post on my Facebook page all my announcements and during my video. So I think my blog, blog post is a little bit repetitive. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to post both of my projects with the video links and the supplies with each one and then the announcements below because really if I do it on Sunday you're going to get up Monday and you're going to get another one Thursday after Wednesday night and those are only a few days apart not a lot changes during that time if it does I will put it out there if not I will wait and post both things together so I hope that makes sense for you um, I just don't want to overwhelm you I know most of you come to the YouTube anyway and again, if you go to Marcy Bessaker Designs, you're going to get all the updates and things posted there also. All right, so let's get busy. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you, this was the first card I did, and then we're going to change it up a little bit. So this is the first card that I did. Okay, so we did this cute little Halloween, but watch. It's a 3D, not 3D, it's like a pop-up but there's no dimensionals so I'm going to show you a little bit about that I saw this on Instagram from Jennifer McGuire and I've thought about it in the past when I've done gift bags because that's what the gift bag looks like right and you've got this gift bag and and so you're like well this is not folding down and to lie flat so you have to stack them all and I thought this would be kind of cool well, then I watched Jennifer last night and came up with some different ideas that I didn't do. So I'm going to show you what she suggested, and then I'm going to show you how I created these. So super cute. And you just, it just goes into an envelope. So yes, I did do dimensions. Um, you know what? Only on the sentiment on this card. The next card, which is the one we're going to create, is this card. I've been dying to use this set. I just had to find the right way to use it. And now it's popped and I put some trees in there and you can see some little mushrooms and some different things. So I'm going to show you some different things that I did on this one. So let's switch over. So this one here, I did use dimensionals, but not for the dimension of the card. Okay. So I didn't use it for the dimension of the card. Um, yeah, Deborah, isn't it neat? I saw it and I was like, oh, so she's very creative. And I like when she uses and does some different things and she kind of thinks outside the box. So I like to, to watch her. Um, so I put a little bird here so you can lay your leaf down if you want. Um, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, having the, the branches kind of poke out is okay. Using the diorama die, you're going to see right here, I had to add some extra strips of the tree to kind of hide that white empty space, okay? So I just cut some more of that tree and that's when I decided to add the branches. So I added the bird because you can lay this flat, you can tuck this under, and you can tuck this right under the tree and just, you know, safekeeping and traveling or whatever. But it's still a very thin card, just like a regular one layer of dimensional, and you can still put it in the mail without a problem. So I'm going to show you how I did it. A couple of things. Number one, you could not do the inside and the back. You could just put your panel here if you want, but then it doesn't really stand up that well. Without your panel here, it tends to tip forward because the front is heavy. So once you put your panel inside, 
it does stand up just fine. And so, um, again, super cute idea. I love that they're just kind of um, dimensional, but not necessarily um, a whole bunch. It's, you could make a shaker card. There's a lot of different ways you could do these. So let's get busy and I'll show you what we did on this one. So I did a little bit of work ahead of time. We're going to use the layering diorama, the happy forest, the stamp set, and the, um, the dies. Um, I'm thinking with the only die I used is the sentiment here. Okay. Everything else I used the paper. So I wanted you to see that if you're traveling and you want to make something other than using the diorama, um, layering diorama dies here, I fussy cut everything. So I took a tree and it had some greenery on the bottom and that's where I got this from. And so I just kind of cut it up. Um, this is a little strip that's gonna go on the inside of the car. Or no, this one, we're gonna put just below, just to hide, I put green in this one. Can you see the green down there? Because I realized to get the tree up in the window, I had to put something below. So that's what I chose to do. And I just cut out a bunch of little pieces out of the, the stuff here. So. I cut out, um, let's see, I didn't cut out, other than the tree on the bottom here, let's see what else, I'll tell you what I cut out so you can kind of get an idea. All right, there is a sheet, I hope I have an extra one in here, let me see, yes, this one. So, this is where we're going to get the front and inside of our card. So we're going to use this strip on the bottom for the front and then this strip on the back because we're going to decorate the back. So we don't need to have, you know, all of this and on the inside. You could, if you wanted, you could cut out both of these and use these. Then this extra strip or a piece over here is what I used a little tiny strip for on the sides. And then... Uh, here I used the branches. I used a little branch and then um, the longer branch right here for the inside. This one, I used the fox, the owl, the flying bird, the little bird. I used the, the bear. And I also picked some of the larger flowers. This flower here and this flower here. I got two of these and one of, the, uh, one of these. And then I chose just like three or four mushrooms, all different sizes, and that's about it. So that's what I chose to do my, my front with. So let me move that out of the way and hope it didn't knock it over. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is pull out our diorama dies, and I'll show you how I did this. Hi, Roxanne. Hi, Debbie. How are you? All right, so this is gonna be the front. Okay, let's, this is gonna be the inside and, oh, what did I do with my little pieces? I think they fell out somewhere, but we'll find them. They're somewhere, oh, here they are. This is my little piece that goes on the inside. Okay, so we'll just set that aside. So let's work with the top piece right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna choose two sizes of the diorama. Okay, so you're going to kind of decide on how you want this to go. And I want a lot of the greenery to stay on there. Okay, so we're going to do that. And we're going to put our diorama like this. What I did with this is I took two sizes, which I believe were these two, the third and fourth one from the largest. And nope, the second and third one from the largest, let's see. Let's double check. So this one is on the inside, okay, of your, my piece, and then this one goes on the outside. So that is how, and I taped them together, and that's how I got this piece right here. This is the outside. I want the inside to be cut on here because I want to be able to glue this on here. 
but the first thing I did is make this a little bit stronger because I use DSP I want to make sure that my piece is going to be I'm just gonna stick those over here um, that my piece is going to be strong enough to be the front of my card so I'm going to take a basic white piece and I'm just going to put this on just like this and I'm going to glue them together and the die goes through no problem so get kind of close to the edge as close as you can but it doesn't have to be if you have space it's okay and then I went through twice right down the middle just to make sure that all my pieces stay together okay and then let me pull in my silicone mat all right, oops, let's get the red. Got red glimmer everywhere, can you see it? All right, so let's put this on here and let's just take this and and if it's a little bigger than the white, that's okay. You just wanna be able to kind of firm this up, this piece up a little bit. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're going to cut it I'm going to take a little piece of reusable tape and let me die cut this out really quick. Okay, so it's going to come out like this. And take your tape off. Remember, it's DSP, so you kind of want to be careful. And you don't need this, but you could always use this for something else and set it aside. So we're going to get that out of the way. And I will fix these. Later. Yeah, these are great dies, Debbie. I really like them. Okay, so there's that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring our green piece in just to kind of give it that finished look. And we're going to put this on here like that. Now, because it's so such a perfect fit you got to be really careful and you don't want to use a lot of glue because it's super thin so let's just do a little bit oops you're probably bringing it over close to me here you know how great our glue is so we don't need a whole lot Okay, now just start it and you can kind of see where the die was. So kind of go right in that area. And just kind of lay it and move your paper just in a tad so you don't see that white. And you've got to get it just so it will start to kind of bow on you if you don't have it just right so just kind of move it around and hold it so your glue can hold okay so this side seems really good the top just kind of push it in with your nail get it where you want it and hold the firm so your glue will hold just right okay so that is good enough now if you see a little bit of white you can always take like this is Mossy Meadow, you can always take your Mossy Meadow pen and when you do, do it from the back side. You don't want to do it from the front and accidentally move. Do it and then just kind of color that in a little bit if you feel the need. But I think once you get it together, it's fine. You don't need to do that. I have a fan on across the room. Hopefully it's not bothering you guys because our weather is really weird today and it's kind of stuffy, but when I turn my air on, it's just a little too cold. So, I mean, my air down. Okay, so now this is what we have. Now, this is where the magic kind of comes in. Now, there's a couple, what I learned from Jennifer is what you could do is make this wider. Now, this is DSP, and so I don't want to do that. So, what you want to do is you want to put a little accordion piece right here. So, this is like an M. Okay, so it's just like this. This is, I think it's a half an inch. So you can decide whatever you want. And I'm gonna stick with a half an inch because obviously it you know, folds down flat just fine. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my score in. Make sure your paper is the same or just under your, your front page there and your back. Your back you want to be, let me see if I cut it already. You want it to be slightly under, yeah, like just a slightly under, there's no real measurements, just a little under so that when you do put this piece on, um, it's going to cover up this, this back piece. This one, I didn't do so well. You can see how it's a little crooked. Well, it's stuck, um, but it's still laid flat. It just happened to be not exactly straight. So we're gonna be, <laughs> try to be a little more careful. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna do, what I did is I'm gonna do a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna score. I'm gonna do a half an inch and score. And I'm gonna turn it, I should have gone this way. Okay, so quarter of an inch, a half an inch, another half of an inch, okay? And then a quarter of an inch, and now we're gonna cut it. Okay, so you have a quarter, a half, a half, a quarter. So again, let's do that again. We're gonna have a quarter and we're gonna score. My poor trimmer is so dirty. I have been work using it like crazy. Okay, and then another half. So quarter inch, three quarters of an inch, score. One and a quarter inch, score and then a quarter of an inch, and we're gonna cut it. Now you could make this a quarter of an inch also, and then make your depth a lot less. The other thing you could do, and I wouldn't do it on DSP, but if you were doing the front of your project in let's say Mossy Meadow, then what I would do, and, and what I learned last night after watching her, is you could attach, this could be one piece like this, so your piece is going to be, I think it's like seven and a quarter. Let me see. So your piece would be, and now, like I said, I wouldn't do it with DSP. Now you could, the white paper that I put on underneath this, you definitely could do your scoring right here and across and then add your DSP on the top. So it looks like it's just like seven, like seven and an eighth. So you might do seven, She maybe she did a seven and a quarter after this was out a little bit because um, however you want it to fit on the front of your project. So if you did one large cardstock and then stuck your DSP on the middle like this, you could do that. But um, I didn't do that because I didn't know until I watched the video. So, but th she also did this at the very end. She said you could also do this, which like I said, I would do that with DSP. So. I'm gonna score this all. Remember, it's gonna be an M. So the middle of the two larger ones are in. They're gonna go in. So it's mountain, valley, mountain, okay? So let's score all that. Same on this one. Mountain, Valley, Mountain. Oh, you guys are all sweet. Thank you so much. All right, so there we go. I feel like there's a glue dot on here, like it's sticking on my hand. So, oh, it's right here. Okay, or glue, whatever. Okay, now let's get this out. And we're gonna put this down here. And now we're gonna take glue. It's gonna go just like this. Well, this one doesn't even look even. Let's see. This one's even, what happened here? Okay, let's, I'm gonna score this one again. It's gonna be a little funky, but that's okay. Oh, you know what? Let's do that one again. I think when I flipped it, I got a little, a little off. All right, so quarter of an inch, let's do this again, quarter, a half, and you might just cut your piece first and then score it so that it's even, because it really doesn't have to be, the only thing that really has to be the same are these two. Um, where am I? 
and a quarter. All right, so, oops, that was a cut. Hello. Okay. There we go. Let's try that. I think when I flipped my paper, it got a little wonky. All right, so when you fold it, it should come up to each other, and this one does, so that's good. And now, score again. All right, here we go. Now we got it going. So let's bring this back in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on this side. So you want the, the middle, the, the valley here to go inward, okay? So let's do that. We're going to add a little bit of glue. And now we're going to attach it right here to your white paper. And it can go in just a little bit. I like it to be just in, not even an eighth of an inch, just a tad inward, okay, so that it's attached, but it's not going to stick out on the sides. Okay, so there we go. That's one side. And now this one, we're going to, again, the valley goes inward. So we're going to take this one. And add a little bit here. I'm going to turn this this way because I'm right-handed. It's a little easier for me to see it. We're going to lay it down just like that, just in a tad. Make sure it's not hanging over on any of your sides and it's in a little bit. I'm going to see if I can zoom. Maybe this will help you guys. If it doesn't, let me know. All right, so now those are attached, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take, let's do our inside real quick while we're here. You know how I like to do that. So let's attach. I just put some greenery um, down. It's just one of the papers out of the suite. So we're just gonna add that here. All right, just like that, and we'll cut this little piece off here. Now, what I did is I cut off this little log, and it has a little bird on it, and it's got some greenery. I did take this out to try and put it inside. I was thinking of attaching it back here um, against the back side of this, and then I thought, no, nah, it was kind of covering a lot of stuff. So, so I just decided to put it on the inside here and remember, this is DSP. You don't want to put too much glue. You don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit. It will hold. And I'm just going to lay it right on the green there. All right, so that's our inside. So you guys know I was working on my swaps for November for on stage, and I am done with them. I'm going to my retreat in October. I want to be ahead of the game. So I've been working on that. I've been working on my customer gifts and cards. And that's usually what we do at our retreat is get together and get all of our stuff taken care of. Um, so that's what I've been prepping for. Okay, so now this piece we're going to just attach to the back side of our card. So this goes right on here. Like that. Okay, so now you'll see how this is going to work out right here. All right. And when you put your piece on here, it's going to go down just like that. But you don't want to attach anything yet. So the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and we are going to, I already did some cutting. 
Um, this was an extra piece from the top. And I believe this was like this, maybe. Oh, maybe this was like this. So I cut off two pieces thinking that these were going to go. Oh, I think it went this way. So these were going to go um, on the sides here. See how you can see the white right here? And I didn't like that, so I wanted to cut that, cover that up. Also, can you see the white right here? Take your scissors and go from underneath, and then it's easy to kind of see what you're doing, and your scissors can be a little bit of an angle, and then just cut that white part off so you don't see it. Obviously, you're not going to cut this white part off because you'll have a big hole on the side of your card. You don't want that, but this part here. So like right here too, I'm going to turn this upside down and do the same thing. Come in from underneath and just slowly kind of go around. Your scissors are a little bit of an angle so that you can get that cut right there real well. All right, so there we go. Here's our two pieces, so this part we don't need. And we're gonna put this side on the right so I can see the, the tree trunk on the right. And we'll put this one on the left. And I'm gonna turn it upside down because it really doesn't matter, but I'm gonna get more color right there. So what I'm gonna do is turn it, and I want to put the glue on here, not my paper, because I wanna make sure that I don't have anything sticking out. If you have a little bit of paper sticking out, that's not a big deal. You just don't want glue on it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right here. All right, so just lay it down there. And there's one piece, just make sure it folds and it does. So that's fine. See, now it just looks like a tree. And so this side, this one is going to go right here. So I'm going to open it up and do it like this. Remember, it's going to go like this. So you want the brown on the left side or the, I guess it's a granite gray. And then we'll do the same thing. Add a little bit of glue here. And put it right in there and make sure it's down enough not poking out the top see there we go so super simple when you see that it just looks like another branch there okay all right so there's that now let's add some pieces here we'll get all of our little pieces out I'm going to add this piece. Let's make sure our tree is right. Yeah, make sure your trees are right side up. I'm going to add this piece to the bottom right here because then I can bring my tree in and I can layer it up or down a little bit and it's going to, so you can get it up in the window, but you're going to have something down here. Now you could always use that for like grass and then put that up there like that which I think I might do that because I like this. It's got the green at the bottom. I just put Mossy Meadow because it was kind of an afterthought. And I think I'm going to do the green, make it look kind of like grass. And so we're just going to put that right across the bottom. Right there. It went over a little bit. I'm going to cut this off. It does, it's not, doesn't have to be exactly straight or anything because you're going to glue right on top of that anyway. All right, and then see if we put this right up against it. And we're still gonna trim this. I want the tree to come all the way in. So we're gonna trim that side. All right, so we're gonna do that. Let's put this down, kind of get an idea. See how the tree is kind of up there now? All right, so now we're gonna put this aside. We're gonna put this right up against there lay that down and I, I just take my fingernail and I just kind of go right there just so I know where I need to cut again it doesn't have to be perfect because um, our we're gonna be gluing right on top of that so let's not worry about that 
All right, and we are going to use dimensionals and pop that up. And I use quite a bit only because it's a motion card. I just want to make sure everything stays in its place and, you know, does its job. And so right here in the middle, I'm going to put one just so it doesn't sink in. So you, you know, use them, the small ones, cut them in half, whatever works for you. And um, I'm actually going to add another little half of one right here. All right. Now... These are half ones, which I'm going to put at an angle. I'm going to put one here. Getting down to the end on this one. Have you ever thought, oh, I have a lot of dimensionals. I don't need any right now. And then all of a sudden you are looking and you don't have that many left and you're like, where did those all go? That's exactly what just happened to me, and I had to order a bunch more. All right, so the main part there is good. I'm not worried about this part because we're going to be gluing down on that part, and I want it to not be sticking up. So you don't have to go all the way to the edge, but we're going to go ahead and put this down. Oh, Debbie, if I didn't take my husband, he would have a cow. <laughs> He's already just said the other day, man, I can't wait for the cruise. Man, I can't wait for the cruise. We were kind of bummed about last year, you know, but I got my new room, so I'm, I'm okay with it. All right, so just, just put that there. And you don't have to pop this up because it's towards the bottom. It's just kind of covering up that white spot, right? All right, so there we go. Now again, okay, so we're coming along. Now let's work on our front. We're gonna take our bear and we're gonna add our dimensionals to him. So what I did is I put my hand here on the side, okay? So I put them on there and then I put my finger all the way in like this. So I know not to put any dimensionals right there. So I'm gonna bring in my mini dimensionals and we're going to put one on his foot, one on his little hiney there, one right against the side there, and one, let's do a half of one. I always like to have some halves ready to go. And let's take this half and put it on his paw. All right, let's do that again. And I think I'm going to do a little half one right on his cheek right here. All right, so there we go. And I think we're going to be fine with that. Okay, we're going to also put one on his other foot. Okay, put that on there. And I'm going to put one right there. So that is all going to be attached to the BSP. All right, we're going to put this right here. Like he's just walking along. And see? So there's none there. So just put your finger there and you kind of get an idea where not to put them. All right, so there's that. Um, did I cut a fox? Where's my little fox? There's my fox, so let's add some on him. I'm going to do a half of one on his tail because it's just about that shape. Again, I want to just make sure that I get a good amount. I'm going to put that towards his foot and then I'll do this up here. All right, there we go. 
And now again, we're just creating a seam. We've got the part done. Here, we're gonna put him right over there, like he's walking along towards his buddy. And like I said, I had a bunch of pieces cut and I was like, what am I gonna do with everything? And I just kind of piled them up and kind of put them wherever I thought that I could fit something because we're just making this cute, adorable little seam. And again, this is one layer of dimension. Now, the other one, when I originally made my post, when I thought, don't ask me why I thought it was retired. I feel so silly. Again, we say it's COVID brain, but who knows? Could be old age. <laughs> we, uh, and I made the other one and was thinking it was retired. I started making this one. And the other one did not have dimension on it at all. And my main purpose was there's no dimension to make, no dimensionals to make this pop up. I am putting dimensionals on here for my little characters. All right, let's see. And then I just stuck some little greenery back here. Oh, we're going to cut the mushrooms off because they kind of feel like they're floating back there. And I want this to fit behind the bird. Okay, so let's do that. Right, Deborah. Oh, Stephanie, that's why I hang out with you, honey, because then I am young. <laughs> Stephanie and I tease each other all the time. We went to the same high school, but, you know, not at the same time. And I have to tease her about that. All right, here we go. All right, so here we go. Just slide this in. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna tuck this in behind. Just make sure your dimensionals are on there. And I have one sticking out a little bit, so I'm just gonna trim that off. Just like that. There we go. All right, so that's our front. Um, and then I did my little butterfly. Okay, so I had to bring my little picker thing out here. I did my other one, I, it's on my other desk, but I'm gonna put this one right here. Little bit of glue for my little teeny, teeny, tiny butterfly. We're just gonna put this little butterfly right here. Okay. Now I'm not gonna push down on it because I don't want it to ooze out everywhere. Um, okay, so let's finish the front. Let's get a piece of scrap paper here. I have some left over right here. And I took this stamp and I used thanks. I really didn't want hello baby or welcome. Happier than you is too big. Um, so I used thanks because obviously we can use thank you cards a lot. And I just used black memento. So let's put that on there. All right. Okay, now we're gonna get the die. Right here, and we're gonna use this die right here. See, my DSP just slid all over. I guess I should put it in its package, but you know, it's all right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I want my thanks to go all the way to the right, not all the way, but really close to the right. And I'm gonna use that same tape I used before. And die cut this. So 
so here we go. And I, I just save this tape for as long as it sticks. All right, now we're going to take um, some of the twine here that comes in the, I think it's called Simply, Simply Elegant. No, that's the gold and silver. This one is the one that, the baker's twine, I think it is. So I'm just going to make a bow. So we're going to just kind of cut it like right here. And what I did is I put in, I fold it, and then I put this tip in, the, the circle part in. So I put that in. La la la. Like this. And then I just tie a little bow. Okay, so when you're like this, get your two ends close. So I do it like this, and you could leave it like this and cut it off here if you want, but I just tied a little bow, and I wanted it to go this way, so. I just tied it and then trim it. Get the, oops, get the size that you want. Hello. Thank you for the thumbs up, you guys. I really appreciate it. It helps my channel tremendously. Okay. Little tiny bow is what I want. So I'm just going to tie a bigger bow because my fat fingers can't do a little bow. And then you tie it. And then you can apply with it and bring it to the size you want. I just want a little bow. Okay, so we're gonna cut this off. Push that off. And we're gonna put dimensionals on there. Notice how I turn it so that my flat spots Go against my outside flat spot so nothing hangs over. But now that I did that, I'm remembering it might stick out a little bit. So let's give it a try. So we're going to just go to the top here, but pull it over right about there. And I do have one sticking out partially. So we're going to just. I should have cut that in half already. Pull this corner off and cut it. Yay! Now we're going to take our tiny little bird, the one that's just sitting here, and we're going to take a mini dimensional and put it right on our bird. So again, watch the way that your dimensional is fitting on there so it doesn't stick out. And we're just going to add our little bird right there. Okay, so we have our little bird. So now it looks like the front is done. Um, the one thing we're going to do is add our trees, and we'll do that in just a little bit. So let's, now we're going to go ahead and add our left side on. So let's take our glue, and we're going to add it on the left side. Okay, so we're going to add it on. Holding it up might work. It just depends on what you want to do. Um, I want to make sure it gets right onto the edge of the paper that's already on there. Okay, now I use liquid because we can wiggle it a little bit. I got to pull this up. So pull it, my head's probably in the way, sorry. We're going to pull it up. Pull it right to the edge and then fold this one in and kind of get it where it's going to go. And I want this to come out just a tad. 
So just kind of play with it. You've got liquid, you know, you don't have that much time, but you've got a little bit of time. All right, so there you go. That's what it's going to end up looking like. All right. Okay, now you can just fold this open. This is on there good. And now we're going to do our inside. So the first thing I did is I took my owl and I thought, you know, he would be so cute so just sitting in the tree. And then I'm just going to put him right about there like he's just sitting there. And now we're just going to add different things. So we're going to add our little bird. We know where he goes. And this is the flying bird. So let's just put him like flying right here, like he's flying towards the tree. All right. And now we're going to just add our mushrooms and our flowers. And that scrap that I cut, we don't need that. All right. So let's, and remember, it's going to tuck it back here. So you don't really have to put a bunch of dimensionals on it so we're going to put one towards the top and I'm going to do a half of one like right here and that's all we need so let's take this guy and we're just going to stick it right here behind these two mushrooms okay now we're going to take a larger mushroom I'm going to put the larger one these are a little bit different than the other ones I'm going to use a full dimensional and then I'm going to use a little half like right here and then that's all we need so let's just put this right here and let's use this cute little polka dotted one So it's all, I mean, I don't think I need anything on the stem because it's kind of, it's a lot lower. And we're just going to slide this one down, but over because I want, I don't want this to be dimensioned up on top of this. It's right next to it, which is fine. And then we've got that little one. Let's bring in a flower. So it's just however you want, you know, to put everything together. I did do a part of a dimensional right here on the little leaves. And one over here. I love making scenes and these are this card was so much fun. And I'm just going to put that kind of going right up to the tree. And again, it's not up on top of it. It's right in right next to it. And then I stuck another flower Let's see, this one already had a flower and I did a little mushroom right here, a little one. Do I have, well, this one's little enough. Let's do that one. Yeah, it's a lot easier once you do it because this is even easier than what I did the first time is, here are my poor scissors, is, um, it's a lot easier now and like I said when you do the dimension on the side it's just enough and, and this really is not brain brain science here whatever you have here this is a quarter of an inch so it'll glue and then this you just have to do two times and it has to be the same size so if it's a quarter of an inch if it's a half an inch whatever you need that's you want those to be the same because that's going to be your depth. And then you need that little part that's going to um, stick again. Okay, so we're just making this look really whimsical and just kind of fun. Okay, so I think that's it, except our branches. I made some extra flowers that I didn't need, but that's okay. We'll move those over. All right, so now we're going to be ready to glue. Okay. So once we do this, we want to add our branches first. Now they're going to stick out and that's okay. So let's do our branch. This is the one we're going to stick over here. And I cut this off 
because we don't need it to stick out that much. So right, like right there, you want it to kind of have a thick, a thicker end so you can um, glue it. So I did it right about there. So I just kind of put my finger on there and know that it's going to stick outward and I want it there. Now, if you put it behind, it looks more realistic, but it's going to stick out a little bit. And I'm fine with that because it just, when it's popping up, it just looks a little more. If you had it on the top, it's going to be a little more flat, but I like that it's behind the branch because it kind of looks like there's more trees back where this one is. So that's what I chose to do. So I'm going to just put it right about there. Oh, down a little bit. Right about there. So right here, I want to add um, a little bit of glue. Anything that's a 3D item, I like to add glue because I don't want it to fall off. Okay, and then you can kind of, oh, that was the wrong one, huh? Oh, no, that was the right one. And then just kind of branch it out. It doesn't have to stick all the way out. You just want to make sure your glue is not coming out the sides. I like to take my pokey tool and just kind of wipe it off. Okay. Oh, that's why I did the other side. And that's fine. That's the side I was going to do. This is the side over here. All right. So now we're going to put this one. I'm going to do this one a little lower this time, I think. So I'm going to do this one right here. And I'm going to put it on the end of my branch here. Okay, remember it's in the back. And I'm going to do it right about, I went too far out. Right about. Here. Okay, so you can just make sure it's glued on there. I'm going to add a little bit because it's a little deeper than I thought, so I'm going to add that glue back that I had on there. There we go. All right, so now you can just push them down, make sure everything. I don't push too hard because I don't want it oozing out. And you know how our glue is, it starts to kind of stick and dry. Deborah, you crack me up. Okay, so there we go. So there's our little our little branches. Okay, and so now we're ready to glue this side down. And the part is you want this to lay flat. So you want it to come over here and you want it to lay down but you also need it to lay flat. So put it down and then lay it flat. And then you can kind of adjust it just a little, as long as it lays flat. Okay, like I said, so you've got your card and you don't have to have this part if you don't want to. You can put that on the back. So there's our card. So here is the one that I made already. And so I just kind of copied the same thing. And then my original one, which silly me thought it was retired, I did the same thing. Now let me explain what I did on this one though differently. Um, I added the three little kids that it's got a uh, soft saffron with a blending tool um, behind it and then I stamped in black so they look kind of like they're glowing in the back I I did um, it's this is from the teacup set the paper from the teacup I did black around it it's blue and then I think it's a, a either starry sky I think it's starry sky and then what I did is I added the um, mango melody inside the house I did the black house and then I did it in mango melody and I took out the windows and put them in the house I added bats in there I put the moon up here 
This piece of paper is from um, Tidying uh, uh, Lights Aglow. And then I took black around the outside with my blending brush. And then I did the, the yellow, the mango, a little bit on the inside to, because this was black, but I it was kind of more of a gray and black, right? So then I um, did the cat and I did it in uh, Parakeet Party, that lime green color to get the eyes for the cat. And I did this in uh, soft saffron, just to kind of go with this. And the gold up here, it just kind of blends a little bit. Now, I added gray here. And so I took basic gray and I took the outer dye of this set. So you get the outside and then you get this image on the inside that does not cut an outside, okay? But what you do is you take your DSP and this is a full sheet of DSP, okay, the four by five and a quarter, and I cut the outside only, okay? Then I adhered it onto the black. So now I have this hole right here that is just the outside and a black piece in the middle. Then I took the inside after it was all glued together and I, I put it down on the black piece so that it would give me that black image. If you do them both at the same time, you're not gonna have the hole going through. You're gonna have a piece to layer up on top of that. And you, I didn't want that. Then I took the gray and I took the outline again so that I could get this. And then I just curved, cut scissors to make it kind of look like a little hill or whatever because I wanted it to look like they were going up in the neighborhood in the woods. And I got this little gate here from the gingerbread house. So this kind of looked like a little spooky wrought iron gate and I cut it to fit just right there in that little window. And then I just put it on Night of Navy and I put her on the inside because I think she's so cute. My daughter was um, Tinkerbell when she was little and that just kind of reminded me of that. And so I just put that on the inside. So that's how this one was. And so there you go. So again, super easy. They go nice and flat. They go into it. I would recommend going to look at um, Jennifer uh, McGuire's video. That's where I got the idea. Um, she, one, I saw it after I did this. I saw her on Instagram and I just saw her doing this and I was like, oh, I could do that. And, but she gives different ideas, like I said, to where your, her full sheet goes down and she doesn't make these separately, but at the very end, she did do them separately, but she also does smaller measurements too, and not makes them pop up so much. So there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget bingo, um, registration is now it's for October. I am not doing bingo in September. Um, I'm getting over being sick, getting ready for a retreat next month and, um, getting ready for on stage and getting my swaps done, which I just finished this weekend. Yay. And, um, yeah, so October is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be an extra fun event with some extra goodies. So, I hope you'll join me there. A thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. If you'd like to get notified when I'm live, please subscribe to my channel. Um, all it does is warn you that, hey, Marcy's going to be live today or tomorrow or whenever I get it scheduled and put it up on YouTube. Um, also, Marcy Besker Designs, you can always go there and get some latest information, some reminders that I'm coming on. Um, sometimes I ask, like, what do you guys want to see? Um, I do have a list of things, so I'll be going through and, and doing some of those. Um, somebody had asked for the tea set, and I just used the tea set for a bunch of stuff. So um, I will be doing that in the future, uh, but not right away again. So, um, but it's on my list. Um, I would like a video for the Halloween card too. Oh, okay. I can, I can do that. It's super simple. Um, it's basically the same for this, but I'll I'll show you um, how I did the card. We'll I'll do that one um, coming up soon. Thanks, you guys. 
All right. Well, I appreciate you guys joining me on this Sunday. I am going to go in and watch my shows and visit with my hubby. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you soon. Bye everybody.